Kitchen. Let me tell you, we are in the Roadshow Kitchen on this Thursday morning. Maggie Pearson's here from Feast and Fettel. Braised Moroccan chicken tagine on the yes. menu today. And it looks so <laughs> delicious. It's it, perfect for this time of year. And it is all part of your cookbook that came out. Came out. We're yeah. talking about that too. And it's a beautiful cookbook that you're going to want to get. And it's also part, obviously, of Feast and Fettel, which I see your trucks up and down the road all the time. Yes. People <laughs> love your service. So thanks for yes. coming in. Thank you for having so, me. So, talk to us about what you're gonna what you're gonna make today, and I know it is in the cookbook, mm -hmm. and what the ingredients are that we need to kind of put this together. Yeah. So, my debut cookbook, the Feast and Fettle Cookbook, came out October fifteenth, okay. and we're gonna make braised Moroccan chicken tagine, which is actually a member favorite recipe. It's a Feast and Fettle recipe. Um, it's a Moroccan inspired dish and it get it gets its name from the tagine that it's cooked in. Yes. At Feast and Fettel, we're making like thousands of servings, so we don't use a tagine. It's basically <laughs> like a braised dish, so I'm gonna You'd make it. You'd be fancy if you did. Yeah, you, we would be fancy and you know, on TikTok, we're getting like, oh my God, you guys aren't using a tagine and we're like, we just can't find yeah. one that's big enough. Got it. Um, so I'm actually gonna use a Dutch oven today okay. um, to show you that you don't need that ve the cooking vessel to make the dish. Right. But it's essentially a braised chicken dish, like a slow cooked stew. Okay. Um, and I use chicken thighs and it has like a lot of warming spices in it. So this is like cinnamon, paprika, ground ginger, cumin, turmeric, um, and coriander. And yeah. then um, you cook it in like a chicken broth. It has carrots, olives. You can use different types of olives. Yep. I'm using Castle Viltrano olives. And it gets sweetened with actually a little bit of apricot jam. Oof. Well, it smells absolutely <laughs> fantastic. We're going to talk with uh, Maggie about the, the cookbook and Feast and Fettle, the service. So look, maybe if you don't want to make this, you can have them make it and deliver it <laughs> right to your house. How great is that? We'll do that in just a little bit. Back to you. We are back in the kitchen this morning with our good friend, <laughs> Chef Maggie from Feast and Fettle, and we are making a delicious braised Moroccan chicken tangine. It smells yeah. so good already over here. Thank you. All right, so what steps are we doing right now? Um, yeah, so I did sear off some of this chicken. That's like the first step. And then you want to add your vegetables right to that pan right with all there. the brown goodness. Like you want it those flavors. It smells good already, Maggie. We call it like the fond in um, the culinary world. Okay. And so once this is seared off, we're going to add these, it's like a warming spices. So okay. we have, so you can actually dump can that in right okay. now. I can add it now? Okay, adding all the spices yeah. right on it. Yeah, so this tagine is, I would say it's a, it's a it sweet, so savory stew. Yep. Um, and the, t the cooking technique we're really using here is a braise. So that Smart. means that the chicken is cooking in like some liquid, but it's not like soup level yep. liquid. Um, and you'll really start smelling like these spices, and by cooking them, you're kind of like toasting, it's, bringing I'm out you, I those. Wish you could the because it <laughs> yeah. smells amazing. Um, so then so you just next? add some of that chicken stock. Okay, all of it. I know. Right don't, yep, all of it. I'm actually going to add a little bit more. Okay. And so this is going to lift up that all of those it. flavors and like the chicken, the browning. <sighs> Um, I wish you guys could like smell it. Honestly, if I could have this bottled yeah. up in my kitchen, well, all, it's all, all of, fall and winter. Yeah, oh, and yes. then, um, like I said, this this dish is sweet and savory. Right. So the sweetness, I in my recipe, I have it coming from apricot jam. Okay. Um, and it's very traditional to have apricots in tagine. I just think this makes it a little easier. I love it. No, absolutely. Um, but you can of course substitute honey which is something inside. everybody has. And then you're just gonna stir that in, and it also is brightened up by lemon. Oh, so we're gonna okay. add Zest some lemon in. zest. And as you're doing that, Maggie's yeah. book is now out, Feast and Fettle Cookbook. We remember when Maggie was talking <laughs> about this cookbook, and now it is finally, it's been born. It's available on Amazon, on obviously the Feast and Fettle website, local bookshops. Make sure you get this. The pictures are amazing. The recipes are amazing. It really is, I mean, it's such an accomplishment. Thank, Thank you congratulations so, much. so much. I mean, it is like another child. Yes. I was like child. two and a half years in the making um, and it's finally here and I'm so happy to share it with everybody and I just want everyone to cook the recipes, you know, get the pages dirty, write yes. in the margins, make the recipes your own. They're very forgiving, user-friendly.
Which is what I love about yeah. your recipes. And you also have an event this weekend, too, where someone could come, they could get the book mm -hmm. and have it signed as well? Yeah, so I have an event at Hope in Maine this weekend, and it's in partnership with Barrington Books. Okay. So they'll be there with books available. Um, and Lisa Riola will do the founder of Hope and Maine. She'll do an author talk. There'll be recipe tastings. This is actually one of the recipes is this one we'll of have available for samples. Our chefs will be there. I'll do a signing. It's from one to four. It's also the Warren walkabout. So That's there's right. lots, lots going, going on. on in town. Lots going on, but definitely yeah. make sure you get over there, get the uh, buy the cookbook, get it signed. Mm -hmm. Meet Maggie, get yeah. a photo. She's amazing. Uh, okay, so now. So yeah, so we started. added the chicken in there and really all we're gonna do is cover this up okay and we're gonna pop it in the oven for about an hour and the chicken Perfect. I mean I have it obviously like the magic of TV I have one over there that's done um, the chicken will be super tender you can like take a fork and kind of I like to Best break it up a little bit yes. yeah and then I add um, Castle Veltrano olives I just like to add these at the end so they just stay like the them. texture stays there um, and then we finish it with fresh herbs so this is parsley and cilantro and, and then hot. some lemon juice and you're good to go and I you mean, can, it looks incredible man. yeah it's perfect for this time Beautiful. of year I like to serve it with like flatbread pita saffron rice and it also tastes really good multiple days oh, like it's a good oh, like it's make ahead kind of dish. Dish. yeah I love that you know yeah. what I, I was talking to you this morning when I came down just to say hello give you a hug did you ever in your wildest dreams <laughs> think that your business would be where it's at Absolutely not. I mean, we started in 2016 with eight members. We have over 10,000 members. We have 250 employees. I started it with my best friend as my first employee, and it's yeah. really only been eight years, which is crazy. Is and it's just been amazing. And our members, we have so much to thank for them for, you know, believing in our mission, loving the food, and we just we love that we can serve so many more people than we ever thought we would be able to. It's incredible. I always see the feast and pedal trucks. Yeah. And I always think of you. I always <laughs> want to like take a photo and send it to you. Probably like Audrey. Everybody does this. Well, story. everyone's like, I saw the van, and I'm like, we have 60 vans, <laughs> and they're like, you weren't driving it, and I'm like, I don't drive the vans no, anymore. Not anymore. Um, but yeah, we go all the way from southern New Hampshire, Maine to. Um, New Jersey now. It's unbelievable. So, yeah, it's pretty big, big oh, radius. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, great things happening to great Thank people. You. And we have more information too about Feast and Fettle right over at our own website, roadshow.com.